Hey guys, even here, and sorry for being a little bit late. I am on a vacation, actually. <laughs> I just came to Montenegro a moment ago, and the first thing that I'm doing is making a video for you guys. And this one cool pro just happened, and this needs to be covered. This needs to be covered. This is crazy what we just saw. I predicted Hadi Chopin winning this show, but I didn't think that he's gonna look this impressive. He blew these guys away. Even though he's much shorter, much smaller than most of them, he destroyed them. He absolutely annihilated them. And I didn't expect Lucas Oslatil to look this good. At one point I thought he may even beat Nathan Diasha, but he didn't. Nathan took second place, Hadi won the show, Lucas was third and Ian was fourth. Also Josh Wade was at fifth place. Also Ian. Ian was much better than I expected. He was battling it for the second or third actually. He wasn't in the mix to win the show, no, because of his back and because of some of the weaknesses. So for example, this one, when he does front double bicep, he does a vacuum, but it doesn't really look proper. His uh, chest looks smaller in that pose for some reason. Same thing with his front lat spread. He can spread the lats, he looks big, but he doesn't look as packed as Hadi. I mean, look at Hadi, he's so packed, so much muscle on his little frame. Then we come to the side chest, and this is one of the best poses for Ian. Probably the best in this lineup, but still, it's only one pose. It's not a lot, it's only one pose. Now let's take a look at their backs. So Ian, he looks great, but from the back he doesn't look that good. His glutes and his pretty much overall back is not that thick. Hadi is destroying this pose, he's the best back here. I would say Lucas is second. I'd say Nathan is worse than Lucas, but Nathan has some other stronger body parts. We're gonna talk about that as well. Now look at Hadi here. Hadi really brought an amazing level of muscularity. This is actually third time that he qualified for the Mr. Olympia. But since Iran is on a ban list, he cannot enter the States. So he will not be at the Mr. Olympia. No, unless Mr. Olympia is held somewhere else, which would be a great idea, actually. If Hadi competed in 212 category, he would blow away the lineup easily. He would destroy Flex Lewis, if you ask me, honestly. Not to mention Derek Lansford. So I think Mr. Olympia should be held outside of the States. Maybe Canada? Why not? That's not too far away. That's also a big country. Why not? Why not Canada? They should consider that. We're gonna talk about it more in the future, but right now let's compare them once again. So now you can compare Hadi to Nathan and see why he lost. So basically Nathan is not that big, really. Nathan is not that big. He needs to grow. He needs to grow at least 10 pounds of muscle. He's not big enough, really. I mean, that, that's his problem. The only thing. Yeah, he has a little bit longer torso, but everybody has weaknesses. Hadi's waist is a little bit bigger. His forearms are smaller. But anyways, Hadi absolutely annihilated this show. I mean, honestly. A Lucas, very weird physique. Weird style of posing. He poses with his butt like a bikini girl. And <laughs> it does look impressive, but it looks weird. I don't really like it that much, but it does show great muscularity and great conditioning as well, but you know, it's, it's a little bit odd. And uh, here we can see them actually showing their backs once again. So pay attention now. Pay attention to Hadi and to Nathan. You can see Hadi is much bigger, much denser. And when I talked about this, I said that Hadi is much bigger than Nathan. Some people said, no way, bro, no way. Nathan is much better, much bigger and so on. He is not. I look at the legs, for example. Nathan's outer sweeps, as I mentioned before, are lacking and basically the back as well. That's why, why he lost. I mean, also, Hadi looked super impressive. He was spot on. He was on, as much as he can be. He was shredded, he was dry, he was full. And with his genetics, he annihilated this show. He destroyed it completely. And this is really amazing because Hadi is a 212 guy. He's 212 competitor, which means he's much smaller than these guys, but I'm sure he's not only 212 here. He doesn't have only 212 pounds here. I'm sure he gained a lot more size. But, I mean, look at him here. Look at this. <laughs> amazing. Amazing. I am blown away. This is the best 212 competitor in the world by far. By far. If they don't let him compete as they want, I mean, it's not about bodybuilding. It's not about heavy B. It's about Donald Trump. He will not let him travel inside of the United States because Iran is on a ban list. And uh, that sucks. That sucks, definitely. So I'm hoping that they're going to change something. That Mr. Olympia is going to be held elsewhere, outside of the States, because 
Apparently, many people won't be able to come in, probably in the future as well. And why would we forbid the whole country to enter? Especially now, when we have the best Tootfell competitor. And I'm sure that if Hadi actually competed in the Open class, he could enter top 6. Really? I mean, what is top 6 today? It's very weak, right? You have Brandon Curry, William Bonac, Rolly Winkler, maybe Dexter, and that's top 4. That's unbeatable pretty much for him, probably. He can beat Dexter if Dexter is a little bit off. So, potentially, Hadi can even be top 4 in the Open class. A look at him, a look at him. Is this not enough? Hell yeah, it's enough. Anyways, guys, this is it for this video. Very, very impressive physique. Hadi Chopin destroys one cover pro. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out any of my future content. And all the best, guys. Bye-bye.